How's it going guys? Welcome back to Ridgewood, New York, and this is the Kitchen Bike Mechanic. And I have a lot of opinions about things bike related, uh, including chains. Uh, I recently had a weird experience at a bike shop with some ridiculously elitist uh, mechanic in New York City. There is a really shitty bike shop called Echelon Cycles. You should never go there. But uh, it reminded me of kind of a debate, I guess, with people who work on bikes and what they think about chains and drivetrains on what is better, uh, KMC chains or Shimano chains. And uh, I've got an opinion about it that kind of comes from, you know, my personal experiences using both of these chains. As you can see here, I do have Shimano in KMC chains of different varieties. Uh, and what is better? The answer is not simple. It depends. Uh, if you run a more or less modern 11 speed Shimano drivetrain, then a Shimano chain will by far be better. And there's a very simple reason why. These chains are designed to go with these group sets. The ramps and the tooth profiles on the chain rings and the cassette and the plates, the uh, way they're shaped, the tolerances and fine internal measurements of the chain itself uh, are optimized for each other to work as an efficient mechanical unit. These chains are designed to work with Shimano dr drivetrains. They're not designed to work with SRAM drivetrains or Campagnolo drivetrains or fucking Suntour uh, superb drivetrains. Uh, KMC chains, on the other hand, are designed to be compatible with all drivetrains. So, can they really be optimized for a specific group set? Of course not, because they're designed to be compatible with all drivetrains. Um, so, if you're running kind of the older vintage group set, which I've built up, you know, bikes with, you know, old Shimano 600, uh, which is old Tegra, I use KMC chains. Uh, you know, they're available in multiple speed varieties, and they've worked out pretty well for me. Whatever. Uh, recently, I was running this KMC X11SL. Which is an awesome chain. I would recommend this. It's a uh, check how hollowed out that is. Hollowed out links, hollow, hollowed out plates. It's very light. Uh, I can't really comment on how long it lasts because I wouldn't see it through the end of its life because it was really noisy on this drivetrain. And that's my biggest problem with KMC chains uh, is they are noisy, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm sure many people on the internet can corroborate this experience, but, you know, I really want to give KMCs a good, you know, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and they are decent chains. They function, <laughs> you know, they spin your wheel around, uh, they shift adequately, they're fine. Uh, you know, this was probably the most expensive chain I ever bought. It was like almost $80. And uh, it worked fine, but, you know, after not too many kilometers, it just got to be a little too noisy. Um, so, yeah, I've gone back to the, you know, Dura-Ace HD901 chain. Uh, and even just sitting here upside down, it is noticeably less noisy. And this is a use chain that I took off of my other bike. It's got a couple miles on it. It's already noticeably less noisy and it does shift better. It simply does. It's snappier, you know? So, you know, what's better? A Shimano chain or a KMC chain? Uh, if you're running a Shimano drivetrain, you know, chain rings, cassette. This is a uh, Ultegra is that a Shimano chain is gonna be better. Uh, I don't think there's really any logical debate as to how a KMC chain could be better, you know? 
you know, if it's got a titanium nitride coating and uh, you're using like Absolute Black's BSS, most efficient ceramic lube, or if you like, you know, uh, wax your chain and, you know, go that direction. If you, a waxed KMC chain will be more efficient, I guess. But from a practical standpoint, you know, I'm not measuring wear with a, uh, you know, complex, with complex instrumentation. I'm not, I don't have the tools to measure performance in that regard, but from a pure practical uh, context as a home bike mechanic, these Shimano chains are by far better. Uh, they're less noisy, they shift better. Um, you know, the, like this old Tegra chain, I put mad miles on, it's fine. Like I can throw this back on the bike. It's just too short for this one. Uh, so they are durable. Um, you know, they can be, like this Durage chain is not cheap. Uh, they can be a little pricey. But so can KMC chains if you get their higher end stuff. Like this this chain was like 80 bucks, man. If I wanted the gold titanium nitride XSL, you know, that's gonna be like 100 bucks. Uh, wax, this will be like 200, 300 dollars. Uh, so that is, you know, not even a factor. Here's when KMC chains are better. If you have a SRAM drivetrain and you can't get hold of a SRAM chain, if you have uh, Campagnolo vintage, you know, drivetrain or, you know, a Mavic Zap drivetrain, uh, your KMC chain would be better. So the KMC chains, uh, especially if you have this XSL uh, top of the line variety, will in all likelihood be lighter, uh, probably by, you know, 10 to 20 grams, uh, which uh, for a weight weenie might appeal to you, but from any practical standpoint is negligible. And weight, weight weenieism doesn't just come from one component. You know, if you deck out your bike with the lightest components, uh, you know, those grams add up to an overall, overall, you know, lighter weight, and then you can get a mechanical advantage from it. Uh, so, you know, I guess the KMC has that going for it. Uh, you know, this old Tegra chain isn't hollowed out. This Dura H chain is, but it still has, you know, uh, you know, kind of full plates. And, you know, I'm sure Shimano, uh, you know, has tested its chains. You know, maybe I'm giving these bike companies a little too much credit with their R&D, but I'm sure they've tested their chains and found that this is better for them and their drivetrain efficiency. Uh, you know, if, if you're not a crazy OCD bike nerd like me and you don't clean your chain every week, you know, these could get pretty dirty. Uh, you know, with all these open spaces, you can get like dirt and road grit stuck in there. Uh, so the hollow plates, you know, that's up for you to decide if you appreciate that feature. Uh, you know, what else practically can I comment on? The, uh, the method of, you know, the chain, uh, securing itself. Uh, this is a Shimano quick link. These are said to not be reusable. Uh, it, I, I've reused this quick link multiple times, uh, and it seems fine. However, you know, I think that's a statement just of liability, you know, legal liability. You know, if, if, if this thing snaps one day when I'm like laying power into it, uh, you know, I can't really be mad at Shimano because they said it's not reusable. Uh, KMC Quick Links, on the other hand, uh, some of them are reusable and you can buy like aftermarket KMC uh, Quick Links and uh, that is what I'm going to do with the Dura H chain that I'm going to put on my SL4. I am going to use a KMC Quick Link uh, with my Dura H chain. Uh, some Shimano chains also come with like the the pin you just put in. You press it in with the chain tool and then you snap the end off. Uh, I've never really used one of those um, because I do 
uh, remove and resize and swap chains out pretty frequently. Uh, uh, so I do know what I'm talking about. Also, these uh, Shimano chains are directional, uh, meaning the plates on the inside have a slightly different shape than the plates on the outside. Uh, KMC chains, uh, at least all the ones I've used, are kind of omnidirectional, meaning you can run them either way. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, once again, I can imagine that, you know, being that these plates have a different shape than these shape, uh, the shape on this side, you know, that could aid in shifting when coupled with these uh, chain rings and cassettes. I mean, uh, the chain has a different mechanical action moving up and down the block. Uh, you know, that, that should be considered as well. I also, you know, I'm hard pressed to comment on like the factory grease that comes with these chains because I and many, you know, kind of DIY bike mechanics, uh, you know, strip all that off and kind of run my own grease, uh, not grease, oil, chain oil. Uh, so. I mean, that's just my take on it. And uh, I do know everyone has their brand loyalties and personal preferences, and that's just fine. Uh, we shouldn't make each other feel bad about them. And uh, I like KMC change just fine. You know, I think I just prefer Shimano in my experience. They work out better for me. Uh, you know, as far as the KMC chains go, if you, you know, have a SRAM drivetrain and you can't get your hands on a SRAM chain, go for the KMC. Uh, if you have Campagnolo, can't get your hands on a Campagnolo chain, go for that. Uh, if you have Shimano, you can't get your hands on Shimano, go for that. If you have a vintage Shimano 9-speed, 10-speed, uh, if you have, you know, a Suntour vintage group set, if you have a Mavic Zap group set, go for the KMC.